Welcome to the Insulted by Joseph's Cuisine. Today I'll be making pumpkin bread pudding and I am going to show you what ingredients we need and tools and also going to show you how to make it. Alright, let's get started. So the ingredients that we need are eggs, sugar, uh, vanilla, nutmeg, cloves, cinnamon, ginger, walnuts for toppings, I have pumpkin in a can, and I have three because I'll be making about four pans, and I'm, I have some coconut milk. Coconut milk means filtered water coconut cream, and I also have coconut cream and coconut milk. And this coconut oil for brushing, and of course bread. I've already turned them apart. And extra bread, I already made them yesterday. I made the uh, challah bread. And for the tools, I have this, cups, measuring cups, and measuring teaspoons and tablespoons, and brush, for brushing, and also this tin foil. The size are 12 by nine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to open these cans and put them in a bowl so it'll be a lot easier for me to measure them. I'm going to break 16 eggs. The reason why, like I said earlier, I'll be making four pans of pumpkin bread pudding and each pan must have four eggs. Each pumpkin pudding, I should have one and a half cups of pumpkin, and I'm measuring six. We are on third, and this will be my fourth. Fourth cup. This is my five. That's it. And six. Well, my six is not enough, so I'm going to open another can. So next we're going to add brown sugar and I'm just going to add five cups so each should have one and one fourth cups of brown sugar. So you want to add your sugar slowly, you don't want to dump the whole five cups so that way it'll be a lot easier for you to mix. So now that 
all the sugar are mixed and well combined to this pumpkin mixture we're gonna move on to spice pumpkin spice what I'm gonna do is I'm using coconut milk I'm just gonna add a cup because obviously we have plenty of pumpkin mixture Let's see if I can find my half cup so I have it here Always use one foot. And one foot. And then for ginger, we're gonna need my other measuring teaspoon. Where did I put it? The king hat. There it is. So we're going to need teaspoons. So first I'm going to do cinnamon. Let's go cinnamon. I'm going to need two teaspoons. Cloves, brown cloves. And one fourth. You don't want too much. And then brown ginger. So now we're going to move on to pumpkin mixture and what we have to do is mix this. And just mix it again until well combined. is just grab a piece of a paper towel and wet it and just wipe it gently to take all this dust from the store especially the top and then just dry it again with dry paper towel get a new one wet it again and just wipe Try it. So now we are ready to grease our pans. What I have here is a small, tiny, itty bitty bowl and just add coconut oil and dip this brush and start brushing up. So 
the next step I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in here everyone have a different method and this is my method some people would just like mix this to the pumpkin mixture but I don't like that I like it this way because it's easier and that if you see some more bigger but just kind of torn them apart again in the spread want those big pieces. Alright, I have finished putting all the bread in my pan. I have four. One, two, three, four. In each pan, I'm going to put pumpkin mixtures, about six cups each pan. soak this for 15 minutes before you put them in the oven and here is my first two finished product and I'm going to uh, toothpaste test and they should be clean and they're cooked okay all right guys these are my finished product so after I finished my pumpkin cooking I made a little extra for me for tasting until it's cool then I'll uh, see you again all right and now uh, it's for pumpkin tasting time so here I have oh, I have this pumpkin and it's extra for myself for tasting it's hot still hot and I'm going to sprinkle some nuts and a little bit of sugar powder. So the tasting began. So good. Oh my goodness. Hmm. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.